Did your newborn baby have a traumatic birth resulting in the damage to their upper arm nerves and paralysis of that one arm called Herb's palsy? Wondering, will baby recover? And if so, what can you do to promote that recovery? Hi there, it's Nisha from Sydney Kids Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you the early intervention pediatric physiotherapy strategies that we use to help a little one recover from their herbs palsy. So the first thing you need to do for your little one is to protect that arm. So when they're newborn, you would have been seen by a pediatric physiotherapist who would advise on the handling of your newborn who now has herbs palsy. A singlet sling is what we would recommend. And that just literally is your baby wearing a newborn singlet and you fold the edge over to cover that arm. So it's folded forward and the bottom of your singlet comes up over them. This arm is free to move, but you kind of created a little sling for that injured arm. You have to be very careful to protect that arm even in handling babies. So if that sling is over, everyone will know that's the arm that's injured. When you pick up baby, you always scoop baby up with their arm across their chest. You still have to do little stretches and we do it right from day one. So we wanna make sure the arm doesn't get stiff, folded up in front of them because baby is unlikely to move their arm themselves. So you should every day be doing little stretches for their fingers, their wrists, their elbows, their shoulders, and an expert pediatric physiotherapist will specifically tell you the movements you need to do for your little one. We also want to promote and activate whatever movement baby can do. So that would be stimulating baby, stroking him, so that baby will try to open their hands and stretch their shoulders. Again, specific exercises that an expert pediatric physiotherapist will teach you. Now, as baby progresses, and if your little one is now a toddler, still carrying some leftover impairments in their arm because the brachial nerves hasn't fully recovered, there's so much more we can do to help your little one. So here at Sydney Kids Physio, we offer such a big variety. We would be doing radio shockwave therapy to try to reduce any spasticity or contracture, so muscle tightness in your little one's arm. And often when we see a toddler, their arm might have been in this position for such a prolonged time. So we need to gently stretch that out. Fingers and wrists, we're often using the low intensity pulse ultrasound to soften up the tendons to allow them to open up their hands. We are also often using K-tape to help stretch out their fingers and hands at rest. And because the little one's hands are so small, we can't quite get customized gloves yet. So K-tape is fantastic for it and we would design it so that it helps promote your little one's hand function and elbow and wrist function. We're also always doing regular stretching to make sure little one's shoulders not too tight and contracted because often by toddler age that could happen. We are then, if need be, be doing serial casting. So often if the elbow is too stiff and tight, we might have to stretch it out. We would do casting through there to help ensure the elbow gets that last bit of range. We would be promoting active movement and that's what the functional electrical stimulus does. We have little electrodes put on your child's arm to help promote that opening and that movement and soon you'll see recovery happens faster. Here at Sydney Kids Physio, we have immense experience treating little ones with herbs palsy and it often frustrates us when we see a little one come to us and they're two years plus and parents often say they've never had any of these options um, offered to their little one. We certainly can help you with customized splints and gloves and even shoulder orthosis. What you need to do is to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists here at Sydney Kids Physio, the number to ring is 02979094233. And if you know somebody out there who has a little one with herbs palsy, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.